Hey everybody, welcome to Outdoor Inspirations. I got a riddle for you and it's a plant riddle. Who am I? Guess this one. I'm yellow, but I'm not a banana. I'm over 10 feet tall, but I'm not a giraffe. I'm a plant, but I'm not a rose. I have seeds, but I'm not a lemon. I make people smile. And I'm named after a famous star. Can you guess? Sunflowers! Come on! All right, so next is the Hellenius annuus uh, genus species name. You know, there's a lot of uses for sunflowers. They were grown thousands of years ago. One of the earliest crops um, known to humans, I believe. And you know, it's uses for all kinds of things like uh, sunflower seeds that we eat and available in stores. There's uh, bird seed that is available for purchase. And then there's other things for uses like um, cooking oils and also industrial applications. You know, Raleigh, in fact, at the end of each season, harvests all these sunflowers here, and they'll use them for biodiesel trials. So a lot of cool stuff that's grown from the famous sunflower. So, you know, sunflowers are grown from seed, and they're very easy to grow. You know, grow these at your house, landscapes, um, fairly easy to do, just order you some packets of seed about April, you know, get them in by April and be prepared to seed in about May is the time frame you want to put the seeds in the soil. Basically, you're just cultivating the soil, you know, cultivate your area and you're going to dabble some seeds about one and a half inches under and you scratch that back under that soil about one and a half inches and within two months, these are going to grow up uh, and be mature, almost mature height. Sunflower is really cool because the flower power is amazing and it lasts for a long time. In fact, there's some, most varieties will last till first frost hits, so really cool. You know, the sunflowers typically are annuals or perennials. Most of them are annuals, so they will not come back, unfortunately, so you do have to plant and enjoy them once per year. Um, they have a long single stem with these beautiful heart-shaped triumphant leaves on them and every uh, seed produces just one sunflower head. Okay, and so another thing about the beautiful sunflower is it loves sun, obviously, and these will actually tilt with the sun as the sun goes from the beginning of the day to the end. You know, especially when they're in production and growing stages, you know, like the budding stage, that bud will actually track the sun, direction of the sun all day, and come back to full sun exposure. And that's what it needs is that really hot sun energy photosynthesis to develop such a huge, huge flower. And just look at all those amazing seeds. There's just so many, so many seeds in there. It is truly amazing. And you know, these that are at uh, Dorothea Dix are typically six to 10 foot range in height. And there's actually some world record holders, I believe in Germany, and um, they reached over 30 feet tall. Can you believe it? Unbelievable, right? So sunflower, the varieties, like we said, are about 70 different varieties. So you'll get some that are one, two foot tall, as much as 30 feet tall if you're a world record holder. But for the most part, they're six to 10 feet tall that you've seen. Like I said, sun, love sun, very minimal care, doesn't really have that many insect disease issues. So they're very hardy um, living plants. These do get heavy. You can see this guy here with that huge face, all those seeds that it has in the middle, really heavy. Um, you know, and at, people ask, you know, when can you cultivate the seeds and use them for cooking or eating on your own? Well, these um, will actually turn a brown color towards the tail end of the season, and that's when you know it's a great time to harvest the seed. They hold a lot of oils in them. They get heavy, 
and at the end of the year you, they'll start to turn a little brown and that's when they know they're ripe and ready to uh, produce. Whether you're going to you know, cook them in the oven like pumpkin seeds and eat them, put some salt on them, etc. Um, that's about the time frame. Like I said, you could sprinkle uh, a field throughout the May, June, July time frame and you'll extend the flower power all the way until that first frost. Hey! Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching today. You know, everything's inspirational. Certainly plants are inspirational. We love our plants. You know, all things grow with love. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any other comments or suggestions, put them in the comments below. Where's our green thumbs at? We need some subscribers. Where you at, guys? And until the next time, guys, have a good one and take care.